edge splitting methods. Let's see how it works. We will just look at the smoothing. Smoothing will always work on a group. When you smooth that, it's still within a group. But with the edge splitting method, it will help you single out a particular edge group. For example, in the other one we worked on, which is smoothing, we work on a particular age group. Let us say you are working on age group 10 to 14. It means you still have population that are within 10 years, 11 years, 12 years, 13 years, or 14. So you might be interested in the 11 year population or the 12 year population. The age splitting method will enable you to do this. There are two types of age splitting method. We have the 10 year age group splitting method and the 5 year age group splitting method. If you are going to use the 10 years, first you split it into 5 before you bring it to the single age group splitting method. Right there, you discover that in every census, they normally come up with the, group, the age group of 10. And we, in the educational planning, we want to work with a particular age group. We will be interested in a particular age group, maybe age group 6. Those that will be entry primary school or a group 11, those that will be going into secondary school. So for this reason, we'll have to do age splitting method. Hi, for this section, open your course material on statistical analysis and quantification educational planning. Open to page 53. We're going to walk through page 53 to 57, 58. So right now, we're still looking at how we can smoothen out uh, the age of you are interested in when you want to plan. We've just talked about the smoothing and that smoothing we did was within a group. So when you do a smoothing method, yes, you've been able to actually come up with the real figure that you need to work with, but that figure is still within a group. In educational planning, in most cases, you are not working within a group, you are working on a single age. And whereby you need to refer to a single age. For example, you may want to work on a six, which is the beginning age for primary school in Nigeria. So in this instance, you have to use what we call age splitting methods. There are two ways you could do this. The age splitting method is either you walk through the 10-year age group method or the 5-year age group method. You know, in the census taking of any population, in most cases, it's within the 10-year age group method. And when you are using the 10-year age group method, it does not fit into school planning. It is only when you work with a single age. So whereby you have the 10 year age group method, what do you do? You first of all split it into five before you can compute the single age method. Now let's look at what you have on page 53. On page 53 you have uh, the formula that has been given. I encourage you to study that formula. Now let's go to page 54 under illustration. You have age group and you have population. Under age group, it started from 0 to 9. That is a period of 10 years. And this 0 to 9 is giving us 300,000. And when you go down, the last one there is 40 to 49, 145,000 or million. Now, right here, in this instance, if you look up again under that population, the heading of it, you see comma 000, which implies that 300 represents 300 million. But it's written this way just to shorten it. Now, what are we interested in? Let's assume we are interested in 10 to 19, as it's being stated here. That means age 10 to 19. And that age 10 to 19, you want to come up with a particular figure. The first thing you need to do is to split them into five age group. And in splitting it into five age group, use the formula that is given there. All you need to do is to substitute the figures, the population figure you have into the formula. That will give us the first first five years. And the first first five years will be from ages 10 to 14. After you have worked on ages 10 to 14, the next one will be from ages 15 to 19. So when you get age 14, 10 to 14, which in this area, it is 143,750. Now you subtract it from the figure we have in the population. What is that figure from 10 to 19 is 275,000. That 275, you subtract 143 from it that will now give you for ages 15 to 19. So when you get that age 15 to 19, it is there you work further. So if you go to page 55, the, the bottom part of it, you now have ages 10 to 14, 143, 750, 
ages 15 to 90, 131 to 50. So once this is done, you have taken the first part. Walk through it, ask your question on the discussion page.